Well, um, I suppose first of all, how difficult was Friday to take? Yeah, um, very difficult. Um, um, a poor performance. Um, to concede so early in the game, um, knocked us right back. And you know, with UCD sitting back in, and we had a lot of possession, but we didn't do much with it. You know, obviously getting into the, the final areas, but we just, we just, um, so we were just, uh, we were poor in front of the goal. Um, you know, but we had a lot of possession, but it's, um, yeah, we didn't look like scoring. Yeah, I suppose one of the frustrating parts, Callas, you haven't been able to build any momentum yet, like, yeah, no, like no back to back wins yet. Yeah, no, it's, um, it has, it, it, it's been up and down. It has yeah. been, do you know, um, do you know, the performance against Dundalk, listen, we were, we were fantastic. And, mm. you know, the, we would have thought that we would have carried it on again on the Monday night against UCD, but that wasn't, it wasn't, um, wasn't meant to be. But, you know, it's, it is frustrating. It is. And, you know, we, you know, over, you know, the last few days, we're, you know, we're sitting down and we're seeing if we can correct it. And it's, um, yeah, it's, you know, we, we, we can, we can see it after a minute. You know, it's, it's always, it's always a knockback straight away. But, listen, we, we have to react to it, but, and we didn't. You know, we can say we had a lot of possession, but, we didn't do enough with it. Yeah, just two goals in five games now, Carl. Like that's con is that concerning for you? I, I, no, I, no, I wouldn't think so. No, I wouldn't think so. Um, you know, we have we know we have goals in the team. Um, you know, so I wouldn't think that. You know, like going into the Derry game on Friday, um, I have no fear of us um, scoring goals against against Derry Friday. You know, so um, you know, we we need to be, we need to be, we need to tighten up the back. You know, tighten up the back, and you know, but that comes from. That's the whole squad, you know, it comes from the front, the middle park, middle back. So it's um it's um it's a team game, you know, and we're all in it together. Yeah, you lost to Derry obviously in, in February way, like so hopefully we'll be hoping to make home advantage count against them, obviously another top team as you know. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. and um, they're a very good side. It was a it was a difficult night for us up there, you know, probably a few weeks ago. So it's um yeah, they're they're a good side. They've got a lot of quality throughout the team. They've um you know, probably in the last game they played against Dundalk, they've got one or two lads back. Um so but it is this we're at home, you know, we'll have we'll have the support of the you know, the fans will be there, it'll be fantastic and you know the players need to go to go and put on a performance, what they did against Dundalk, but you know, that we we like that to be every week, you know, it's mm. that, you know, and um yeah, you know, we, we we'll get ready and um you know hopefully that we can go and get three points against Derry. Yeah, what type of game do you expect to be called? Like your your approach will it be kind of similar to the way match, or will it be different in any way? No, no. Listen, we'll be we'll be we'll be definitely going out for the win. Absolutely, you know the the team won't be sitting back, won't be sitting back, and you know I think that's the, I think we're at our best when we're you know when we're after teams. So it'll be it'll be no different like that. So listen, the players will they'll go out and they go and perform, and hopefully they can go and get three points. It's a strange kind of league, call in a way that, like you look at Dundalk and uh, Derry drawn there during the week, yeah, two all, and um, and at Derry I think have dropped fourteen points already. The leaders have dropped nine, mm. so it's, it's kind of tough. It is, like, it's, 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 is it is, it's a strange, it's a strange one this year. Like if I think it's, is it, I think we're six points off. Is it third or fourth or something like that? So it's, yeah. it is, yeah. There's a lot of teams dropping points. Um, yeah. So, um, I think it's 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 up and down. You know, for a lot of teams at the moment. You know, but you know, coming back to ourselves, is it the league is stronger. Do you think in that way? I think the league is stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I think uh, the league is stronger. Um, there is yeah, and you know, there's the quality of the players. Knowing the league is 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 fantastic, and we, which is which is great for the league. But it's mm -hmm. um yeah, the league is definitely stronger. Um, and you know, listen, you know, for us coming up from the the, the first division, you know, and you know, you're going into, you're going into every week is the intensity. of The games are a lot lot higher. You know, mm -hmm. so and you know, obviously we're playing a lot of. We're playing three games in the in in a week as well, like you know. So sometimes you know, as a coach and staff, you know, we sit down, we take that into account as well. You know, is that when you're going from one extreme to the the other, you know, it uh, it takes a lot of toll on you know on the players as well, like so, um, we take that into consideration as well. Yeah, you just touched there, Carl. Like a win could put you like a point to within fifty. I think if you win, it's that tight, like that. No, it is that tight. It is that tight, but it's I know. You know, it's grand if you saying that we go win, but it's like you know we gotta go back. You know, like you know why are we dropping points and mm. and that's that, that that that's the thing that frustrates me. You know, it's, it's like when we go and play Dundalk at home and we were fantastic, and but we need yeah. to get that level of consistency right. You know that we we go into the next game that, you know, the performances and the standards have to to match. Obviously, the the, mm. the previous game as well. You know, so that's what we're finding at the moment that we need to we need to be better at. Yeah, your two wins like came at home and. Clean sheets in both of them, so it is. It's, it's important. Again, like it's, it's 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 so, it's so important. It's so important. Clean sheets. And, you know, you can get all your goals you want. That and that brilliant as well. But you know, being solid at the back. You know, you, you need to you need 
to make sure that's that's correct if if you if you if you want to do anything with it, you know going forward in the league like you know it's, it's so important you see it at top level do you know mm. it's so it's so important i think Klopp was on about it last night was in when they played leads and that is that defensively you've got to be right you got to mm. be right and then obviously then going forward you know you rely then on your attacking players and to get your goals Good luck Friday, Carl. Thanks, Trev. Thanks. Um, absolutely, I think the Pats have some very harsh words to say to your players. Were there similar words after last Friday's game? And if so, how have the squad responded? Um, yeah, no, d- listen, yeah, it, I think, um, you know, when when we don't perform and, you know, as as a manager, you have to, you have to, you know, think about why we didn't perform. You know, I think we gave, you know, I think we gave a soft goal away. Um, to have an order possession that we had and that we didn't, create too many chances is very very frustrating so um yeah listen we we, we had words after our after the dressing room like like um like that we would we, we um we would always do but it's um you know it's I suppose now it's probably getting them focused for the dairy game is that you know the last thing i want to be going in and start shouting and roaring at players and then obviously then i need them now for the dairy game as well like you know so it's it's, it's just getting the balance of it right um do you know the, the players they understand what what I want from them. We have high standards. We've had it the last over the last two years, and I think it's, it's when you drop your standards, you know, it's um, it, it, it's it's not acceptable. Not for me anyway. You know, so listen for the players. Is that over the last two, they have they have been great. They've been brilliant. Is that we just need our performances to be, you know, to be consistent at the moment. They're up and down, and that's probably the frustrating thing at the at, at the moment. Uh, Rory Heaton was a uh, half-time withdrawal last Friday. Was that down to injury or was it a tactical decision? Um, no, I just felt I felt that he looked a bit tired. Um, you know, listen, Keats mm-hmm. has been fantastic uh, for me. Um, listen, the goals that he's got this year, he's um, he's 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 a very very good uh, centre forward. And um, you know, I just felt he was a bit tired. You know, he's uh, he had the two games. Mm-hmm. You know, the Pats and the and the Dundalk game, and he put so much effort into it. And that was just um, a change um, that I made at halftime. Mm-hmm. And he is one of the best strikers in the division. Um, you obviously lean a lot on him being one of the best strikers in the division. But I suppose with the likes of Kimmer, if you know, available, that kind of gives him a bit more support and obviously gives yeah. him a chance to, to, to rest up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, listen, as I said, and listen, we have, we have, we have Thunder as well and we've eaten Varian as well. Like, so we have options, you know, it's just that with Keats's, you know, with his form at the moment, you know, sometimes, you know, it can, it can be hard to leave him out because, you know, he's um mm-hmm. he's a crucial player to you know what we do and you know, even the goal against Dundalk, you know, he wins the header and Murph is in and it's a great finish. You know, so he's um he's been fantastic, you know, since 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 we brought him in last year. It was a great season last year and um he's um he's kicked on again this year. Uh, listen, I'm delighted for him. Um and you know, but it's um yeah, and we want him to score as many goals as possible, you know, but he works so hard for the team as well, you know. He's um he, even off the ball, the way he presses and all that kind of stuff, it's it's so important to us. Thanks, Colin, good luck by the way. Thank you. Colin, how are you doing? John Fallon here. Oh yeah, John. All right. Um yeah, just a few I know I spoke to you after Friday, um we've had a few days to digest it, I suppose. Like you were as Rory said, you were, you were very, very um, open and honest, as well as about the disappointment of the previous Friday. But given it was the bottom team and, and at least you created some chances in the past game, was it equally disappointing? Yeah, no, it, it's it's always disappointing when you when when you lose. Um, it's just that we we had a lot of possession and um, we didn't we didn't do too much with it. Um, you know, um. I don't know. Do you know were, were the movements were the movements from the wide players or do you know or or certain players were 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 the correct and do you know sometimes is that you can be forced to play direct but UCD did sit back in do you know and do you know sometimes when they do sit back in it's um it does cause you problems and I suppose sometimes when you're when you're trying to break down a low block you're probably looking for that that bit of that bit of magic from if it's a wide player centre forward or midfielder that you can go past people and then that you, you know you can cause problems you know like when if you do go past somebody you, you cause any formation or problem then obviously somebody else has to come out and you know you can unsettle the formation that way but we just didn't do that against UCD and probably for all the possession that we have it's probably a frustrating thing that we didn't do it. Like you mentioned there that style um, like you're probably not going to get a low block against Derry that we play um, like how do you approach things in terms of like I know Stephen O'Donnell sort of said the only way you were going to score against them was direct, and um, which was a bit bizarre because it came from 
their ball out of defence. But do, do you do you adopt different tactics going into games against someone who'd be more say open like Derry than would be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you would probably you would probably look for um, weaknesses um, within their team and probably look to areas to where you can exploit and. You know, certain things if it's set plays or and listen we know they're a very very good team they've got they've got top players within the league and um, players that are very very comfortable on the ball and off the ball so we we need to be at our game everybody needs to be on it but as i said we'll have a game plan for friday night um, and hopefully the players then can go out and, and go and perform it and listen we'll have a pack turners cross behind the players um, and hopefully they, they can they can drive this on just on that, I know you mentioned set pieces there. Just on that, Banksy, um, is he okay for Friday? I'm not too sure to be honest. He trained this morning. He only did a part session. Um, we're going to see what he's like Thursday morning. Um, he was quite sore after the Dundalk game. Obviously, he wasn't available for the UCD. It's a bit of a groin injury, so he did a bit this morning. We'll see. Listen, the lads are off tomorrow. We'll see if there's any reaction Thursday morning, and we'll make a call on it then. How much of a loss has he been to you? That was. Was a throw in there now, but he's he's got explosive pace. Oh yeah, he is. He is. He's um, he's been a massive player for us, as I said. Listen, yeah, he has the throwing, yeah, but he's um, he's got a lot more to that. And listen, he's quick, um, but what 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 Bagsy Bagsy's a winner, and Bagsy if even if Bagsy's not playing, he's he's upset and he's he's always want he wants to win in training. If he's playing darts, he wants to win the darts. It's just like it's always good having players like that. You know, he's um you put him on the pitch. Listen, I know what I'm gonna get from we have him since he's been under seventeen since the academy. Do you know, he knows the way I work, you know we know the way he works, so he's been fantastic. He's got pace, um he can improve in certain areas and he knows that as well and he's willing to learn, you know, but he's um yeah, you know, he's a he's a good lad, he's a good professional and um, you know, um he's 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 started the season well, you know, so hopefully this injury won't keep him up for too long. Yeah, just finally, anyone else doubtful? Um, anybody else doubtful? Uh, no, no, I would think, no, I think it's probably just bags and obviously Toby is probably still out. You know, Toby is probably another few weeks away, so um, just bags at the moment. And is, he, is Toby still in, in with Celtic? Toby's yeah he's he went to back to Celtic for um for a few weeks just to um, just for a bit of treatment um he got a scan over there and, that, and they're just monitoring him at the moment and hopefully that he should be back in a few weeks. That's great. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Colin, how are you? Paul O'Hare from the Mirror. Hiya, Paul. Are you just a quick one, just in in relation to your game at Derry earlier in the season up to the Brandywell. What what did, it was I know it was early in the campaign, but what did you make of that game and your performance? Um yeah, do you, do you know what? Like we we had very good chances. Do you know we had very good chances? Um yeah, uh, Barry Coffey had a very good chance, and I think if we take if we take our chances, we could have won the game. We and we could have, do you know, but um yeah, we we found it difficult. Um, uh, listen, they did a lot of possession. Um, McElhenney and, and Patchen in the middle of the park they were, they were very very good um, with Graydon uh, we, I think it was Josh was, I think we had we had a back five that night so and I think you know trying to keep the lights of Graydon and I think I don't know who's on the other side but it, trying to keep those players quiet is, it's always difficult they had a lot of possession you know so um, so it is it's always a tough place to go up there as well it's a big pitch and um, they work the ball well and they, they, they make you work but I, I, I felt that we had we had the chances um that we could have got something out of the game, but um, you know, at this level, this not you. You got to be ruthless in front of goal, don't you? You got to take your chances. You know, they took their chances, we didn't. Yeah, and and a slightly random question. I was at the game in Oriel Park on Sunday. Derry to get the draw with Dundalk, and yeah. one of the talking points after the game from Stephen O'Donnell was about the pitch, and and that he felt it's no coincidence that the. In his eyes, the two clubs with the the longest injury lists are the two clubs that use artificial pitches in the league. Have you any thoughts on artificial pitches? Would you like to see a day when we're not playing on any of them? Um, yeah, yeah. I don't like them. I don't like them. Um, as a player, I had a, I'd have knee injury problems anyway, and I, I never, I couldn't really play on those pitches anyway. Um, but I don't like them. Um, it's. They're different. I think they should be on grass pitches. Uh, that's just my opinion. I watched the game 
the weekend and the ball just doesn't move correctly does it it's it's too slow and what happens is that you you get ankle injuries you get knee injuries and you get back injuries and um you know even on training like we don't we don't train it's it's always grass for us down here in, in cork it's we don't train on any astros unless listen if this pitch is waterlogged and all that kind of stuff but i tend to do very very little on astros i just i just feel it's the next day that lads have groin injuries back injuries and it's just i just don't take a risk um and even even going up to even going up to the Astros and that, I know for maybe on the Monday and the Tuesday after Friday that some lads are still sore from, from playing on it. Do you know? So um, for me, no, I, I, I think that it, it should be all grass pitches. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Sean from the Independent here. Hiya, Sean. How's things? Um, just two for me, if that's okay. Yeah. You mentioned the congested table there and... On one hand, you could say you're four points above UCD, but on the other, you're four points off fifth. So it just shows you how kind of crazy the first round of games were. Yeah, no, it does. It does. Yeah, it's um, yeah. Um, I don't think it's been like this before, has it? Um, you know, it's it's up and down, and you know, and probably from our own point of view, is that you know, the consistency level needs to be better. You know, it's um, you know, we're putting on good performances, and then the following game, then it's it's not so good, and it's probably very frustrating from. From from our own selves, you know. So um, yeah, it is. But as I said, you get a few wins, um, you're right back up the table. Um, I think probably Pats were probably in the same position probably a few weeks ago, weren't they? They were down there and they I think it was is it four wins in a row and listen mm. at a day at a second now or something yeah. like that, you know. So um, yeah, it's just if you went in a run of, run of games, is that yeah? I think it, it, the way the league is at the moment, I think you'd be you could shoot right back up. Is that just something like especially like Cork supporters should? possibly keep in mind not to kind of get too annoyed or too like up in arms about things whether yeah, really I, listen, it's yeah, I, listen, I, I know things. yeah yeah i know i know i know the way the way the car fans and they listen they're um they've got high standards and you know they want the best for the club and absolutely um yeah i can see it but is that this is our first year back in you know so you know we've been playing first division football for the last two years we're back in you know so it does take time takes time you know so um yeah it's what we need to do is that our performances they, they need to be more consistent you know as, as i said at the moment we're up and down that needs to change you know so um hopefully that can start against Derry on friday night um listen i keep saying is that there'll be a massive support in as always they'll get behind the team and um and hopefully that they can um you know support the team and hopefully that we can go get three points to get them cheers Colin. thank you Hi, Colin. Mark Allard from Raider. Miss Tings. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, just in relation to that, you talk about the massive crowds in the Burners Cross, and obviously the attendance figures are, have risen so much this year for the league. You know, what do you think the league could do to kind of sustain that momentum now and you know, make sure that people people keep coming to the games, given the rise in attendance figures? Is there anything that could be done? or? Uh, is there anything in the in the league that could the league can be doing? Um Yeah, yeah. It's, or the game itself, yeah. Um I don't I don't know to be honest. Um I think the the I just probably speaking from Down and Turner's Cross is that, you know, our support this year has been fantastic. Um the numbers are up in four, five, six thousand, which is which is brilliant. Yeah. I think the the level of football and the, the quality of football and the, the, the players have the standard has gone up. Um I think you know, from back from when I was playing, the level now has gotten a lot higher. So, which is which is great. Um, probably with your Friday night games is you know with the, the, a lot of kids come out to watch the games, which is fantastic as well. Um, I I don't know maybe, maybe one day for the leagues do they do they switch around the games? Do they is there is there one or two Sunday games? Is there a Thursday night game or something like that on television or something Does, like yeah. something like that? Because I know there was a game on a Thursday night probably. I don't know, probably two weeks ago, and I think there was a lot of people tuned into it because it's a Thursday night, you know, Friday night, you know, it's just and maybe a game on a Sunday or something like that, just to change it around the small bit, just to, to you know, it's not always Friday nights, you know, and it, it might be, it, it might be just something small, but that that would be probably just my my, my idea in it, you know, so, um, you know, when you watch the game there the other day, is it Derry against Dundalk? It's on a Sunday. It's at three o'clock, but it's great, doesn't it? Is that you know, it's not always the Premiership. You're not yeah, watching yeah. Liverpool, Man United. That you can go and watch the League of Ireland team, and it's it's on the you know it's on the television, which is fantastic. Mm. You know.